Welcome to my Photoshop tutorial for Ascension's Atlas map style. Now let's define some countries for our map. So step 195, let's tidy up a bit, collapse any layer effects and collapse our groups. And let's make sure our colors are default, D, and select layer rivers. Create a new layer and name it layout. Control shift N, name layout, opacity 25%, okay. Select the pencil tool, B, and shift B if you need to cycle to the pencil tool. Right click on the canvas and set the size to 18 pixels. Hardness 100%. Now we're gonna draw some guides for our borders. The written tutorial gives some tips on how borders might be defined. I'm just going to roughly follow the mountain shapes for this. These lines will separate one part of a landmass or island from another. So you see I have three lines here to break up this main landmass into three areas, and the islands are already separated by the water. So I've got these three countries on my mainland mass, and I've got these medium-sized islands. I'm gonna use two of those, so I'll have five countries all together. Now, you might have 10 countries here. It just depends on how big your countries are and how large an area your map is intended to represent. I'm just keeping it simple for time's sake for this tutorial. Okay, so make a new layer and name it Borders. Control-Shift-N, name, borders. Okay. Set the pencil tool size to one pixel. And I'm going to zoom in a bit. And we'll draw the actual borders. I actually want my line to extend into the ocean a little bit, just to make sure my border reaches the land edge. So I'll follow the river a bit near my layout guide and just quickly draw the rest of this border. And then for my other border, I wanna make sure these borders are exact where they meet. So I'll zoom in a little extra just to make sure. All right. If your borders do overlap, you could either hit Control Z and undo the last line you drew, or you could use the eraser tool in pencil mode and erase the line where it overlaps. Okay, create a selection from layer base. So control click on the layer thumbnail, invert selection, control shift I, delete selected, delete and deselect, control D. So that clips off those border lines where they extended into the ocean, just like we did for the rivers. All right, select layer layout and delete that layer, delete. Select layer base. Duplicate the layer and name it country one. So control alt J, name country one. Okay. Unhide layer country one and move it beneath layer borders. So click and drag the layer and now you see our borders showing up on top country one. Hide layer borders and make sure layer country one is selected. Create a selection from layer borders. So control click on the layer thumbnail and we're gonna delete selected, delete and deselect, control D. Okay, so we cut a thin slice along the borders and now our three countries should actually be separate from each other in layer country one. So let's check that. So select the magic wand tool, W, set the tolerance to zero, and set contiguous to checked. So when we click inside one of our countries, we wanna see a selection in the shape of the country where we clicked. So when I click this, Okay, this one's good, so my borders were good. Now let's check the other two. Okay, those are good too. And deselect, control D. Now, if it didn't select what I expected it to, then my borders probably had a gap in them when I drew them on layer borders. 
In that case, I'd need to unhide layer borders, find the gap, and then fill it in with the pencil tool and repeat steps 209 through 212 again. Okay, so now I'm gonna add an inner glow layer style on layer country one, alt L Y W. Blend mode set to overlay, opacity 25%, color, solid red, FF0000, okay. And we'll set the size to 16 pixels. Now you can't see this right now, but it's okay. We're just setting this up for later. Duplicate the layer and name it country two. Control Alt J, name country two. Okay. Okay, so we'll just keep duplicating the layer for every country we wanna have. So I need three more. Control Alt J, country three. Okay. Control Alt J, country four. Okay and control alt j country five okay so right now all my country layers are identical so i need to cut out the individual countries from each one so first hide all the country layers except layer country one and make sure layer country one is selected select the magic wand tool w tolerance should be zero and contiguous checked. Now click inside one of the countries to create a selection of its shape. We have some islands that I want to include in this country, so I'm gonna to switch to the lasso tool, L, set the feather to zero pixels, and make sure anti-aliasing is unchecked. Now hold shift and drag with the lasso tool to add more to the selection we created with the wand tool earlier. Now anything inside the selection will be included, but the ocean doesn't matter, so I can just draw a big border around here and all this land will be included. Any tiny islands I may have missed and this big island I want to include as well. I just need to make sure that I don't go through the other islands and then when I get back to the mainland, I play it a little bit safe by coming in a few pixels behind where the border is bordering other countries and not just water. So now all this land, this island, and anything up to this border will be included. So I'll go back to the wand tool, W, invert selection, control shift I, delete selected, delete, and deselect, control D. And that is my country one shape. Now let's hide country one and unhide and select country two. And we're just gonna repeat those last few steps again for my other countries. All right, country two, I still have the wand tool selected. So click in the country, select the lasso tool, L, hold shift, draw a shape around those islands. Okay. Invert selection, control shift I, delete selected, delete, deselect, control D. All right, there's country two. Hide that one, unhide and select country three. Select the wand tool, W, click inside the country, select the lasso tool, L, hold shift. Now there's some tiny islands here, so that's why I do this lasso part because I can include those really easily. Draw around those islands, That's pretty good. Back to the wand tool, W, select inverse, control shift I, delete selected, delete, deselect, control D. And that's country three. Hide that, unhide and select country four. So I just want this one island here. So I'm gonna do the wand tool, W, click inside. Now I don't see any tiny islands, but just to be safe, I'm gonna select the lasso tool, L, and draw around that island. Invert selection, control shift I, delete selected, delete, and deselect, control D. So that's country four. Hide that and unhide and select country five. Now I can see some tiny islands there and this island is far enough away from the other islands. So I'm actually just gonna skip the wands tool, select the lasso tool L and draw a shape around this island. 
so that gets everything inside it. Select inverse, control shift I, delete selected, delete, deselect, control D, and that's country five. So you can see country four, country three, country two, and country one. Now let's unhide and select all the country layers. Okay, unhide them. Now I can either hold control while selecting each layer, or I can click on the top layer or bottom layer, hold shift, and click the layer at the other end to select that layer and everything in between. Set the layer fill to 0%. So that will set all of these to 0%. And you can see this faint red line along our borders. That's the inner glow layer style we added a little while ago. And we've copied it to all of our country layers when we duplicated them. Now for each country layer, let's edit that inner glow layer style to give each country its own color. So I select country five and I can do Alt L Y W or just double click the name of the effect here in the layer panel. Okay, so we'll leave country five as red actually, okay. So for country four, double click the effect and I'll click the color and set it to a yellow. Now that's not showing up very well, so let's go back in and bring up the opacity on that inner glow. You can experiment with both the opacity and changing the blending mode to get different effects. I'm making them pretty bright here so you can see them easily for the tutorial. Okay, so double click the inner glow for country three. Bump up the opacity, set the color to a green. Okay, layer country two inner glow, double click. Uh, how about a white? and we'll bump up the opacity there, okay? And layer country one, we'll set it to a blue color and bring up the opacity, okay. Unhide layer borders, and now let's select all the country layers and layer borders. So I'm gonna select layer borders, hold shift, and select layer country one to select all of those. Group the layers, control G, and rename the group to borders group. So double click the group name, borders group, enter. Okay, that's where my tutorial ends. Ascension's original tutorial goes on for a while to add dots and text labels for cities and towns, names of the oceans and things like that. Chapter five of my written tutorial also talks about that and gives some other tips. I hope this was helpful to you. Once you get the hang of this, check out the Photoshop Actions version of this tutorial for an even faster method of creating this style. Thanks and good luck.